This is a project where we are taking 300 people out in the ocean to deal with a continent that's at least the size of Texas, that's off Midway Island in the middle of the Pacific. This megatons of trash of plastic is polluting our oceans in ways that we don't even know yet. No one's really doing huge amounts of research on it. There is some, but it's, you know, it, this could be a major problem for us. One of the things happening is that the particles of plastic bags are breaking down into minute particles. Now, for some reason, these particles attract toxins. The barnacles are currently eating those little plastic pieces, and that toxicity is being absorbed by them. Now, it may turn out that that's a good thing. We don't know yet. But the bad news is that those little tiny particles are also eaten, being eaten by the fish. And that's creating a thing where it is eliminating the male of the species, which means there will be no reproduction of certain fish species in the future. The albatross is being, f the albatross mom and dad are feeding their babies bits of this plastic that floats out there, and they're killing them off in droves. They could be an extinct species in the next 10 years. So this is a project that we are looking forward to to see if we can't change some things and bring the ocean to a greater sense of peace. What we're going to do is we have people already who are learning how to do this thing. It's called demolecular manifestation. That is asking the molecules to change from what they are into something different. And there's another process that we do with it called molecular demanifestation. It's how you make things disappear, go away from their current structure. Doing the two together can change a whole lot of things. We've had people who have had this done where tumors have disappeared. We've had this change water. I've personally changed water where it was muddy and cloudy into the point where it was clear. Uh, we've had bad champagne and bad wines that you can take and change into something that's palatable. Food that's stale tasting that suddenly becomes fresh. So these are ways in which all of this can be applied to a thousand areas in life, but in particular, we wish to apply this to the ocean. So if you would like, we are going to have another video available that shows you how to do this and gives you the beginnings of learning how to do it for yourself so you can help others. So please join us, and thank you for helping the Earth.